Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante and welcome back to The Atlantic Curiosity. This time let's render first four pages that we've been working on, meaning 9, 10, 11, 12. So Gilbert captured and Gilbert given a gift. We'll probably work with the rough big shapes first, deciding on the color mood, time of the day and all that. So it's really important not to mess it up in the beginning. So let's pay close attention to that. So I had a very productive meltdown during the weekends and I created a whole bunch of new brushes, like a new set. They're basically the new versions of the same brushes that we used to have in the Akira set. But what's important, a lot of them are made in the way that they're really easy to use with opacity and not flow. But that's a story for another video. Long story short, this is really cool to work with, to search shapes. It's a lot better, that's the way most professional artists work, as far as I pointed it out from watching a lot of videos. And also I created a few brushes that are like super quick, even when they're huge. Which is really good for rendering and searching for colors in the beginning. We didn't have that kind of brushes in the set before. So let's start! On these pages Gilbert is being captured, there's Curlum here, glowing with the golden light, and there's a slight twilightish kind of thingy going on next to the horizon. So very bleak, very dim ambient light, kind of violet color that we used to have in jungles, plus the golden light from the curlim. And that's about it. On the second page we have bonfire and a whole bunch of torches, and no skylight at all by that time. So just orange overall color from all the sides. So let's see, let's choose the um, air perspective color first. Kind of getting a bit cooler than it used to be uh, when it was a bit brighter, so a bit closer to blue now. We can actually make it a bit even colder when they get to the bonfire. Although wait, in bonfire I guess the whole bonfire and torches will create a lot more warm air perspective. So I guess let's go with this one then. Hmm, interesting. This is gonna be a pretty warm picture comparing to the left one. Alright, turn sketches in overlay mode. Kinda really like this mode. This way to use sketches is kind of convenient. Let's invert text right away. No point in keeping it black, we're totally going with white on this. So this is the kind of place we have. The atmosphere feels really nice. Now let's add Curlin because he's really important for the light. Looks very Halloween-y. Let's maybe even add a little bit of translucency for the leaves. So the light is very warm and the leaves are kind of green, but also purple. <laughs> well, I guess let's go something like this. Good thing we worked a bit on the translucency, even though it's a detail. It allows us to work with a lot brighter light in the scene in general, because just a few orange spots that we had before wasn't really enough. So let's add some leaves lit up by the curlim's light. I guess it's not gonna be that orange, since the green leaves add a lot of color of their own. So it's somewhat in the middle. Yeah, this color feels right. Now let's light up some characters, starting with Gilbert. Maybe let's add some ambient light first, just to figure out the basic geometry, and then add the direct, bright, curling light. Adding some reflected light from the surrounding grass, so that guy would actually look like he's standing in that grass. Exciting tricks of rendering. Now, I already started painting Travis' faces with skin color, which is stupid because they wear masks. T 
terrific face. Okay, I think it's good enough for the beginning to actually decide on pretty much all the colors and all the lights. Alright, let's move on to the next one. So the sky will still be pretty dark despite the air perspective made by the torches and all. Ooh, looking pretty cinematic. Perhaps too cinematic. So, so far it looks like Gilbert was abducted by predators. Really looks a lot like the guys from the movie Predator, with the amount of detail we have here. Now, let's light up the torches and affect some light on the ground in the close-by area and see what happens. Now, let's light up the guys. But first, let's add a bit of a stronger air perspective effect on the nearest characters. Kinda looks cool to do that. I don't know if you can see anything, because it's really dark. I had to turn on the brightness of my screen to like 100% to not see just the reflection of my face all the time. But it kinda looks cool on Gilbert, especially on his legs. You can see how the nearest leg is darker than the one that's further away. And we already can see his basic geometry pretty well. That's cool. And now on top of it, let's add some lights and such. We'll add more clothing for Travis a bit later. Right now I don't want to think about the design of the armor and everything. So, yeah. My god, only now I actually realize how horrifying this looks. A bunch of tribal people capture you and then they make you go to a gigantic fire. This looks very obviously horrifying. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're done here. This is the basic lights and colors. Looking good. I like the change in the color scheme and everything. Looks pretty cool. Okay, I guess let's move on to the next two pages, if I still have it in me. Wow, this is bright with 100% brightness. <laughs> I think the color scheme should be a lot from the previous page. So let's copy some of that with Bateau brush. Bateau is a character from Ghost in the Shell. Just wanted to let you know. Pretty much the whole thing. <laughs> so I turned one of the Ulsog into a woman. Kevin requested that. Good idea. So now I'm removing the air perspective from the silhouettes of the Ulsog standing here. But they're gonna be covered by the light and fog and everything from the fire in front, but only at the bottom. Okay, so this is good for now, I think. Oh, getting tired. I guess let's postpone the last one for the next episode wouldn't want to mess it up, so... Tell me what you think on the first three. Things are getting hotter with each picture. Well, I mean, the fourth one will be slightly less warm. You get it. So, these guys will be here. The ceremony. It should look really intimate and special. So, the light and the composition of this air perspective should be very accurate and supporting. But for now, this is it. <laughs> Tell me what you think. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Buy yourself something nice. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Should probably make this text black. Cool.